Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I am Cassie and as always, thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to say I realized I've been doing this for just over six months now since we started the channel and I'm still in shock that it's growing and that you guys aren't sick of me yet. Thank you so much for the support. I'm having the very best time discovering these amazing movies with you and connecting with people from all over the world. I know that when I try to explain to friends what movie reactions are, it's hard to understand and it sometimes sounds kind of silly. But the thing is, I recently got a couple comments that I hope is what I'm doing in this channel and that is that either A, you love these movies and this is close as you can get to watching it for the first time again and B, like you're watching a movie with a friend eating popcorn, probably a friend that asks too many questions, sorry. I'm not trying to be a critic, I'm not a buff on directors or styles or any of that. I just watch the movie, I'm a semi-dramatic person, <laughs> I'm an emotional person, and this is my thoughts on it. Sometimes I say simple things, one comment said. I hope it just feels like you're watching with a friend and I hope you stick around. Okay, so tonight I'm watching Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. If you've seen my other Indiana Jones reactions, you know I loved the first one. The second one I liked, but I have heard good things about this third one, so I'm super excited. I have a huge crush on young Harrison Ford. I didn't realize that the second one was taking place before the first movie, and now we're after the first movie. So I think it's going to be very fun and a great popcorn movie. I'm not gonna make you listen to me eat popcorn though. I know nothing about it except Harrison Ford. I hope um, Willie is not in it. <laughs> and I hope Marion is, but we shall see. Okay, here we go. looks like a western right now. River Phoenix. I remember him from Stand By Me, right? <gasps> Sean Connery? Guys, it's coming full circle. Anthony Powell costumes? Just kidding. <laughs> Boy Scouts. Oh. Horses. No one wrong. Some of the passageways in here can run for miles. I don't think this is such a good idea. Go back. I got Oh, look at that. Wow! Is that him? No. Indy? What are they doing? Indy? Oh, one of the Boy Scouts is Indiana. That cross is an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. Oh. Too easy. <laughs> Where's the Indiana theme song? <laughs> Where's his fellow Boy Scouts? Is he imagining this? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. What kind of circus has a million snakes? Shut up! No wonder he hates snakes. Oh. Throw a snake in his face. Lion. There's gonna be a lion or a tiger. Which is scarier? Oh, a whip. This should be in a museum. I love this idealistic 15 year old. Out of the box now! <laughs> There it is! Dad! Dad! Oh 
What's important? Then wait. May he who illuminated this illuminate me. <laughs> <coughs> I brought the sheriff. Just the man I want to see. <gasps> They're all in it together. You lost today, kid. But it doesn't mean you have to like it. <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh. That belongs in a museum. It was a true story. This guy's just been carrying this ancient cross in his pocket for 30 years. <laughs> Double. That's handy. Archaeology is the search for facts. Get any ideas you got about lost cities, exotic travel, and X never, ever marks the spot. How do you get back from the middle of the ocean back to his classroom? <laughs> Dr. Jones! <laughs> Good guys or bad guys? My men didn't alarm you, I hope. I know who you are, Mr. Donovan. Like yourself, Dr. Jones, I have a passion for antiquities. This might interest you. Can you translate the inscription? To the canyon of the crescent moon. Where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides forever. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. I've heard this bedtime story before. Who doesn't believe it? An old man's dream. Every man's dream, including your father's, I believe. Dad! Dad! Venice, Italy. His dad's grand diary. Complete record of his search for the Holy Grail. This is his whole life. Why would he have sent this to me? He's in trouble. The Holy Grail, so people believe that if they drink Christ's blood, they will have eternal life? Call Donovan, Marcus. Tell him I'll take that ticket to Venice now. I'll tell him we'll take two. <laughs> this will be cool if it's set in Venice. I've always wanted to go there. Pretty much anywhere in Europe I would take. How will we recognize this Dr. Schneider when we see him? Dr. Jones? I knew it was you. You have your father's eyes. Dr. Schneider, I presume. Dr. Elsa Schneider. Well, how do you do? The last time I saw your father, we were in the library. He was as giddy as a schoolboy. I can see where this is gonna go. Pauline, do you permit me? I usually don't. I usually don't either. But tomorrow it will have faded. Tomorrow will steal you. I hate day. to interrupt you, but the <laughs> reason we're here. Yes. Indy's so smooth always. Here is the library. That doesn't look much like a library. I've seen this window before. Right here. Dad's diary. Was that what his dad was painting or drawing in the beginning? Roman numerals. Three, seven, and ten. Look around for the ten. I hope she's good. Not a bad guy. <laughs> X marks the spot. <laughs> I like how they throw in little bits of humor and silliness. Look after this for me. We trust Marcus, right? We love Marcus. Come on. Pagan symbols, fourth or fifth century. guys with the red hats. What's this one? The Ark of the Covenant. Are you sure? Pretty sure. X marks the spot. Well, that seemed like a devious look. It's petroleum. I should simple well down here and retire. Sorry, guy. Using your arm. Oh, rats. Ah. Rats worse than snakes for me. Maybe. Oh. Oh, I can like feel them. You know where I'm from, Alberta, Canada. We claim to be rat free. 
<laughs> a rat-free province. Rumor is there's actual people patrolling the border <laughs> for rats. They cannot settle in Alberta. <laughs> Hurry, read it! The shield is the second one. Just like your father, Giddy is a schoolboy. <laughs> Don't wander off. <sighs> oh, Wait, but what about the tablet? How did they know that I got out? Okay, high speed boat chase, let's do it. <gasps> Are these police? Machine gun at him? But why do they want to kill them? Because they've seen it? Why are this... you trying to kill us? You're looking for the Holy Grail! Well, I was looking for the Holy Grail, did you kill him too? This could get very gruesome. This is your last chance! Go look for Jones! It's yours! Why were you trying to kill me? The secret of the Grail has been safe for a thousand years. Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword have been prepared to do anything to keep it safe. He's from some brotherhood that doesn't want anyone to find it? I didn't come from the cup of Christ. I came to find my father. In that case, God be with you in your quest. Your father is being held in the castle of Grunwald. That was weird. The name of the city. Alexandretta? Hmm. Marcus, you remember what the Grail tablet said? Across the desert and through the mountain to the canyon of the crescent moon. Where exactly? Your father would know. Your father did know. Wait, we know where the father is. Are we gonna go rescue him? A map with no names. Straight to the canyon. He knew everything except where to begin. Alexandretta. I'm going after Dad. There we go. No! They took her? Elsie. Oh, phew. It's my room. Mine too. How did you... What were they looking for? This. You had it? At least I'd let you tag along. Give them a flower and they'll follow you anywhere. Knock it off. You're not mad. You like the way I do things? He's lucky I don't do things the same way. <laughs> You'd still be standing at the Venice Pier. Since I met you, I've nearly been incinerated, drowned, shot at, and chopped into fish bait. <laughs> Oh, Indy. I don't like fast women. And I hate arrogant men. He's always like this with the women. Just so like... <laughs> oh, before time. Do you intend to leave us standing on the doorstep all day? <laughs> Blood Clarence McDonald and his lovely assistant. <laughs> This is so out of character for him, I feel like. If you are a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse! <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse was a thing in 38. We're back to the Nazis? Is this gonna connect to the first movie? I hate these guys. Don't we all? Indy! Don't worry, this is kid play. That's Sean Connery! I'll never forgive myself. Don't worry, I'm fine. Thank you, God. It's fake. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about your head, though. Sorry. <laughs> so it wasn't an accent in The Hunt for Red October. That's just how he talks. I knew I had to get that book as far away from me as I possibly could. Dr. Jones? Yes? yes. You have the diary in your pocket. How do they know about his book? Do you think my son would be that stupid? You didn't, did you? You did. I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. Will you take it easy? I came here to save you. And who's going to come to save you, Junior? 
Don't call me Junior. Look what you did! He's not used to the inaction, Indiana. Put down the gun or the floor line dies. What? Cindy, please do what he says. And don't listen to her. Enough, she dies! <laughs> Is she really a Nazi? Knew it. Evil temptress. How did you know she was a Nazi? She talks in sleep. No. Donovan. I knew you would sell your mother, but I didn't know you would sell your country and your soul to the slime of humanity. So this guy's working with the Nazis? This book contained a map. Where are these missing pages? This map. He's got such an evil guy voice. He's given them to Marcus Brody. You didn't drag poor Marcus along, did you? Brody's got friends in every town and village from here to the Sudan. He speaks a dozen languages and you'll never see him again. With any luck, he's got the grill already. Hello, does anyone here speak English? <laughs> Marcus. Mr. Brody! Oh, thank you. I remember him. Mr. Brody, the director of the Museum of Antiquities has sent a car for you. Of course! <laughs> Run. Did you say... <laughs> <laughs> He'll disappear. <laughs> Take this diary to the Reich Museum in Berlin. Without the map, I'm afraid it's no better than a souvenir. I like his bucket hat. We both wanted the grill. I would have done anything to get it. You would have done the same. I'm sorry you think so. She doesn't even look pretty anymore now that I know she's evil. I can't forget how wonderful it was. It was rather wonderful. Oh, no, no, no! Indy! Don't want to kiss you? That's how Austrians say goodbye. This is how we say goodbye in Germany. Oh. I like the Austrian way better. So do <laughs> I. Can you try and reach my left jacket pocket? Try and burn through the ropes. Don't start yourselves on fire. Ah! I really like his dad. He's so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh no. There's always a secret door in a castle. They want them to think we've gone on the boat? <laughs> Good thing there was a motorcycle in that box. Uh oh. Come on. They're gonna joust. <laughs> ah, you just gotta love it. <laughs> Papa Wheelie. <laughs> Come on. We're going the wrong way. We have to get to Berlin. Half the German army's on our tail, and you want me to go to Berlin? The only thing that matters is the grail. If it is captured by the Nazis, the armies of darkness will march all over the face of the earth. That sounds very sinister. Well, this is creepy. Oh boy, we're pilgrims in an unholy land. Oh, is she crying because of the book burning? Doctor? You came back for the book? My father didn't want it incinerated. I believe in the Grail, not this Vostica. You stood up to be counted with the enemy who gives a damn what you think. You do! All I have to do is squeeze. All I have to do is scream. Touché. Just kill him real quick. Makes me s ill just to even think about him. What did you get? I don't know. First available flight out of Germany. Tickets, please. I 
Out he goes. No ticket. <laughs> Hopefully that's not... What's it called? I just read a book about this. The Hindenburg? Sharing your adventures is an interesting experience. It's not always sharing. It's disgraceful. You're old enough to be her, f her grandfather. I'm as human as the next man. I was the next man. <laughs> Ships that pass in the night. Oh! Remember the last time we had a quiet drink, I had a milkshake. Oh, he's trying to connect with his dad. It was just the two of us, Dad. It was a lonely way to grow up. I was a wonderful father. Boy, I taught you self-reliance. What you taught me was that I was less important than people who'd been dead for 500 years in another country. You left just when you were becoming interesting. Dad, how can you? I'm here. What do you want to talk about? Oh, come on. I can't think of anything. Then what are you complaining about? His Scottish is so strong. We're turning around. No. Where's the city they need to go to? Alexandria? Oh my goodness. You could not pay me. I didn't know you could fly a plane. Why, yes. Plan? Go. No. They've got fighter jets after them? Oh my goodness. This is too much. He shot their own plane. John, I'm sorry, they got us. Nice landing. Thanks. People are trying to kill us. I know, Dad. Your experience for me it happens to me all the time. <laughs> they are quite the wanted individuals. Everyone has very bad aim in these movies. Go hide under the big rock. <laughs> nice one, Dr. Jones. What happened to Marcus, Sala? That's Gimli, isn't it? Took Mr. Brody with it. That makes me love him so much more. I see Brody. Seems okay. We got a tank. We got a tank. <laughs> Get down. We're well out of range. <laughs> that car belongs to my brother. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> the Brotherhoods, they're going to be on Indiana's side. What are all these people? Cheers. As long as I think it's out of it. Those horses. I think the camels. No camels. <laughs> Marcus. Genius of the rest of the fish. Aid our own resuscitation. Come on. Searching. I thought are you hiding? Oh, don't like that guy. Slap me one more. Time. Goose stepping morons should try reading books instead of bad. Jones is getting away. I think not. Not that Jones, the other Jones. Oh no, he's gonna go back to get his dad and be so mad. I said no camels, that's five camels. <laughs> Compensation for my brother in law's car. Where's my father? In the tank. Fire! We're gonna fire a tank at him? Seems extreme. He outsmarts them again. Where's his whip when he needs it? <laughs> I just love him. I think this guy's finally gonna get what's coming. Oh! It's weird to see like gruesome deaths when it has like these cheesy parts and all of a sudden like holes through chests. <laughs> oh. Oh, but I do remember the helicopter, number one. Oh my gosh! 
No! Henry, but don't you see? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> don't you see? Well, that was close. He's stuck there? But I know Indy can't die. Do your move! <laughs> there it is. Revenge! You call this archaeology? How does one get off this thing? That'll do. It's time. Jump. He jumped. He had, he rolled. Right? Junior! I've lost him. And I never told him anything. Five minutes would have been enough. I wanted indeed to hear that. Oh, that lost you, boy. I thought you had to, sir. Well done. <laughs> well done. It's all he gets? Come on. Why are you sitting there resting when we're so near the end? But what about the lady? No one's ever seen this? I doubt it. What was the first clue? The footsteps? Two guys have already tried? What? Who's this? I never expected to see you again. I'm like a bad penny. I always turn up. How does he just come up with this? The Nazis want to write themselves into the Grail legend. But he I wants want everlasting the life. The cup that gives everlasting life. But that's not what Indiana Jones's dad wants, right? He doesn't want the eternal life. He just wants to find it. He wants to... No, he did not. Oh my gosh! The healing power of the Grail is the only thing that can save your father now. Do you remember the clues, Indy? I can't believe he shot his dad! Remember, because I don't remember. The breath of God. And a penitent man will pass. Penitent. Penitent man will pass. Penitent, like, repenting, get down, pray, or something. Or the penitent man will pass. Penitent man will pass. Penitent man. Oh my gosh. Penitent man kneels before God. I'm through! You're all right. The second challenge is the word of God. Proceed in the footsteps of the word. The name of God. Jehovah. But in the Latin alphabet, Jehovah begins with an I. J. Don't worry, he knows Latin. <laughs> Latin Jehovah starts with an I. I. They're going after him? Something about a lion's head now, right? Only a leap from the lion's head will prove his worth. Nobody can jump this. Ah! And you must hurry! Come quickly! But Indy doesn't even believe that the blood will even save him, does he? It's a leap of faith. Rod, you must believe, boy. I believe, I believe, I believe. <sighs> Oh, it was an optical illusion, not an invisible <laughs> spiritual bridge. Okay. <laughs> How is their fires lit? Oh, that's a real. My strength has left me 700 years ago. Long time to wait. I was chosen because I was the bravest. Pass it to you. 
Are you saying he's that guy's 700 years old? Which one is it? You must choose. You choose wisely, or else the true grail will bring you life. The false grail will take it from you. I'm not a historian. Which one is it? Let me choose. Thank you, Doctor. Should have spent more time in the library. I think she's double crossing this guy. Do the right thing, Dr. Snyder. I thought he just said the grail cannot pass. He believes he was right and healed him. This is like his dream come true to be saved by it. Okay, I'm glad they don't have to drink the actual blood of Christ. Just the cup. Elsa, don't move. Don't cross the seal. Is she crazy? Honey, I can't hold you. I can reach it. Help me. I can get it. No. Indiana. chose his son over his obsession. So just because they drank the water, they won't have eternal life, right? Only if they stay in the cave? What did you find, Dad? Illumination. And what did you find, Junior? What does it always mean, Junior? That's his name, Henry Jones Junior. We named the dog Indiana. You are named after the dog? <laughs> <laughs> after you, Junior. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dun, da, da. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't believe I'm done the Indiana Jones trilogy. It was so fun. It seemed very similar to the first one in like the feel of it versus the second, which I liked. Except I just wanted him to be happy with the girl, but that's okay. I loved him and his dad. They were so great together. Bring back the evil Nazis, got it. There was a horse chase, a boat chase, a tank chase, a plane chase. So we got all the chases, which was great. 80s movies like this just have, I didn't even see them then, but I feel nostalgic for it. Do you know what I mean? Like they're automatically nostalgic. And like, although it's like cheesy and these little like dad jokes sometimes, I just still love it. It just feel good and fun and entertaining and that's what they wanted this movie to be. And I have been so pleasantly surprised by this series trilogy. I know some people do not appreciate the new ones. We'll see. It's still Harrison Ford, I'm in but if it's not, I don't know. Overall, I'm a fan. I know it's unbelievable. I know it was cheesy. I know, I knew Indiana Jones wasn't gonna die. You just can't kill Indiana Jones. I wanted like a little more puzzle figuring out-ness, you know what I mean? But overall, very enjoyable, very fun, very popcorn, and I do love Harrison Ford. I just feel like he needs a nice, non-contriving lady to lock him down. Okay, thank you for going on that adventure with me, and remember, if you wanna watch full-length reactions, you can head on over to Patreon. If not, a like helps a lot, as well as subscribe. Okay, you guys are awesome. Have a wonderful night. 
Do 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 do.